Chat 327 back out in the woods and I've got the mud mower Colonel Craftsman pulling the Moverland camper. I want to take you for a walk around of the whole campsite, everything that I brought with me. And in this video, if I want to show you where to find food, some food sources, rabbit, squirrel, turkey, deer, they're out here. And how to start a fire. If you kill food, you're probably going to want to cook it. And uh, last one, northeast, southwest. How to know northeast, southwest. Not just by looking at the sun. If I know where the sun came up, that's pretty much east. If I can see the sun going down, that's pretty much west. If it's in the middle of the day or middle of the night, I can show you a way to know northeast, southwest. By the way, if you've ever heard of never eat shredded wheat, that's uh, once you figure out which way is north, north, never eat shredded wheat. So if you know which way is north, you just go around clockwise, never eat shredded wheat, never eat sour water. There's a lot of sayings, uh, but once we know which way is north, we can figure out the rest of them. Let's first do a walk around of the campsite, what all I have here. Let's start first with my choice of gun. If I'm out running from zombies or I'm bugging out or I'm in some kind of survival situation, this is a 22 caliber. It holds 30 rounds. This is an effective caliber. I've seen it take down deer, easily take down rabbits, squirrels, birds. This gun can do it. It's got a red dot scope. You put that dot on it, you're pretty much going to hit it. Up on front, if it's nighttime, it's got a super bright flashlight with a pressure sensor. You push that and the light comes on. I wouldn't do this to you at nighttime, but in the daytime. And I'll show you again at night, shining the uh, surroundings is a really good flashlight with a nice spot on it. It has a sling, a homemade sling, paracord sling. Very nice for carrying. For the pistol on my hip, this is if you're walking through the woods and a wild hog comes up on you. I don't have my rifle with me. This is on my hip, it's ready to go. A bobcat comes up to you, it's ready to go. You probably don't have to shoot him, you probably just shoot in the air and he runs. Nine millimeter Ruger. That's actually the wife's gun. She's letting me borrow it. And then if you want to shoot bow and arrow, this is my homemade PVC bow, it was $5 to build. Uh, let's see, what about a link at the very end, how I built it? If so, take down a rabbit. Squirrel, if you can hit the squirrel. If you want to step it up and get a deer with a bow, this is compound bow, that will take down a deer easy. Tonight on the fire, we can do some marshmallows. If we go fishing, I've got my fillet knife. I've got my zero gravity chair, great for laying back, looking at the stars, relaxing. If I'm cooking, I can sit in this chair. That's my steel wheel grill. Two wheels put together. Cut a hole. Got a grill grate on. That's good for cooking. Inside of the bag. I've got a sec second sleeve bag in case it gets cold. I've got ammo for the rifle. That you can just wear on your hip. Flashlights. I don't want to be out at night in the dark. I lose a flashlight, a flashlight goes dead. I've got backup flashlights. There's one on my gun. There's this one. It is at an angle. You put it down here, you can adjust it. You can shine, that's a magnet at the bottom. This one also has a magnet. Both of them are bright. This one is really bright. Probably brighter than the one on the gun, but the one on the gun has a nice point. This one is more wide. I'll show you these both at nighttime. This one on my hat. It's a nice, small, super bright for how small it is. Clips on your hat also has the magnet. Uh, like the metal cabin, this sticks on the cabin really good. On my hip, maybe my favorite. Really bright, bunch of, bunch of options. Magnet on the bottom, all these are rechargeable, all of them waterproof. Very good flashlights. I've got reviews on deeper into the channel. back in the camper there's six cushions off old couches I, we threw away couches I kept the cushions I guess I should take you in the camper and show you the inside let's do a walk around and go inside the camper this window is a refrigerator shelf you can see where the milk used to scratch it when you put the milk in there it closes like this it shuts really secure 
You can't open it from the outside. Maybe with a screwdriver, but not with your fingers. It has to open from the inside. On this side, there is another refrigerator shelf. It goes up. It goes down. This stick locks it closed. That's the window lock. Let's go inside and I'll show you how it works. This window came out of a trailer door. I replaced the door for a lady. She got a nice door. I got her old trailer window. I got my camo jacket. That came from like a cheap Salvation store. Everything here is cheap. That gun I got in a trade. The chair was on sale. The mower I fixed that myself. This I built. This trailer was on uh, Facebook Marketplace. And when I got there, the guy's like, my phone's blowing up. Good thing you were first. It's probably the most expensive thing out here. It was 500 This chair. The two sleeping bags. I got a mat. A couple pillows. I think that was 30 for all of that. Couch cushions were free. That bag we won at like an outdoor festival. They were doing like uh, door prizes. We won that. This knife was actually won at a car show. Filet knife. I've also got charcoal and charcoal lighter if we want to get lazy. But let's go inside. So the way this window works, it just goes straight up and down like a normal window. That stick, if you want to lock it, you put that stick in there to hold it up. I won't open because it's daytime and it's kind of hot today. This window open like that and you can use this one way it's a lock and one way it holds the window open on this window it holds it open that window it locks it shut this one's the only one with a screen I might come back in the summertime and put a screen on all of these and if you were sitting in this and you want to do some hunting you could sit in here this could be your blind you could shoot out this window wide open this window is wide open for shooting this window I can just sit back on my couch cushion Relax right here and watch what's coming. The only one I'm going to have trouble with, I'd have to take the screen out of that one and lower the tailgate. But you could shoot out of that one too. Or even the door. And then in the wintertime for the warmth, I've got this blue sleeping bag. Out in my other bag, I've got a green sleeping bag. There are six couch cushions. That's insulating you from the bottom. I'll probably come back with some more of this pink stuff and put on the walls also. It should be good and warm here once I get it fully insulated. And that's the bed frame. Everything's bed frame. So if you come down that trail, there's also a trail leading out that way. There's a trail going this way. There's a trail going that way. Many exits. And we've hit a more secure location. Not as wide open. More hidden. I guess we need a camo tarp to put over top of the whole camper. I think I'll set up here and eat a little snack. And we'll move on to a third spot. Just went walking, probably a mile. Anyway, I'm gonna move to a third spot. In spot number three, there is a fire pit. There's a truck which could block your wind. Those two posts in the ground, you could run a string and a tarp. There's your tent. Over here by the camper, there is some firewood already stored up. And there's some tools that I forgot to show you up on the front of the trailer. I have a hatchet. This is a $6 hatchet from Harbor Freight. S-wing hammer. I recommend the hammers. I don't recommend their axe. I don't know if you call it a hatchet or an axe. That rusts apart. I figured these hammers last forever. I'd buy one of those. I'm not impressed. When I called the company, they said, take it back to the store where you bought it from. They're not going to do anything. I'll have a receipt. Anyway, I've got this old hatchet. And I've got this hammer you can beat through with it. And here is the lighter we found. We need to split it and see if it's really lightered. It's got a really good smell to it and it burns really, really good. Great for starting fires. We'll split some of this up and tonight when we start the fire, I'll show you how good it works. So I took a small piece of this lighter, struck a match to it and it started burning. Put a couple other small pieces, you can see the black smoke. Almost like you soaked it in diesel fuel. Here's a piece of it. Already burning. And I've just made it to the woods with my mower and my overland camper, my Moverland camper. And I'm going to see how quick we can source some food. I should show you the time. It is 11.33. I'm going to walk off into the woods. Squirrel, rabbit, bird, see what we can find. So just came from those woods, 
across the fence and there's a road. A road's a good place to see something. It's clear, it's open, I see nothing. Same thing here. This would be a good place to sit with your rifle and wait for a deer to cross. I guess we'll go look in the woods. Maybe not the best time of day to see a deer. So we just checked the road, now we're walking through the woods quietly. It is 1141, it's been eight minutes. Still no signs of life, no squirrels, nothing. But in this jungle there should be something. They probably just hear me coming. And the boy's being loud. He is somewhere over there. I just found this natural trail in the woods. Probably a creek when it rains really hard. I see a bird. I don't know if it's edible, but I just saw a bird for a sign of life. This would be a perfect spot to set the camper up for a night. And this would be a perfect spot to set up a camper for the night. You'd probably hear all kinds of things going bump in the night here. I still hear the boy back there. Anyway, no signs of life. Except if we go up here and zoom in. There it is. There's a sign of life. And I didn't get on video, but I saw four turkeys. They were running in the distance. Four turkeys. So I mentioned seeing turkeys, and the boy was over there. He saw turkeys flying away. And there's one right there. So the turkey sighting was about five minutes ago, so that would have been 47? 33, 47... 15 minutes? 15 minutes to seafood? I guess now that we've seen food, we can make all the noise we want to. Anyway, here's some nice firewood. It's getting pretty thick through here. And the boy just found a good place to camp where this tree fell over. Look at that shelter. That could be your overnight challenge video right there. You need to borrow a sleeping bag? In a minute I'll show you guys how to show which way is north, south, east, west in the woods without using the sun. That's a pretty good skill to have. Yeah, this is very cool under here. Got your little fire here. Get your sleeping bag up in there. Deep in the jungle, we found a fence post. This must be the property line. And there's a palm tree if you want to make a canoe. It might not be wide enough for my canoe. Oh, there's the fence. You could take that and make a trap out of it. A few years ago, we had a hurricane. I believe that's what took these down. Oh. Should have brought the drone and launched right here. Found another wind blocker to sleep under. What the crud is that? Uh, some kind of poop. Poop on a tree. Anyway, you could smooth that out. Put your uh, sleep bag under there. Okay, earlier I said I'd tell you how to tell north, south, east, west in the woods without looking at the sun. If you look at this tree, the side that has the growth on it, moss, whatever it is, that's going to be on the north side of the tree. This is north. The north side of the tree. This would be the west side of the tree. This is the south side of the tree. And this would be the east side of the tree. Now this only works if you're north of the equator. If you're south of the equator, this would be the south. When the sun comes through the tree, this is gonna be the warmest, the driest side of the tree. The moss wants to grow on the cool, wet side. So if you look at that, there's the moss, lichen, whatever that is. That means this way is north. Does it work on palm trees? Let's check. This side looks brown. This side looks green stuff growing on it. North side. 
What about on this white tree? Green stuff on this side. That must be growing on the north. Let's go to the other side. This side, fairly clean. Fairly clean versus fairly green. North side. And if you know, never eat shredded wheat. North, east, south, west. Up next, I should show you how I start fires. Easy way to start a fire. There's a life scale, probably number one. If you figure out which way north and south is, and you don't have time to get home, you're probably going to want to build a fire. Quick tip, you're walking through the woods, you want to set up camp, it's supposed to rain. If you see these, cypress knees what we call them, don't set up your camp here because if it rains, this area is going to be low. Those grow in the swampland. Find you an area with none of those. Plus, if you put your tent on that, it's not going to be very comfortable to sleep on. Up here, I will put my tent here because there are no cypress knees. Slightly higher here. And one more life hack. If you come out here in these woods, I like to come in the wintertime. Summertime, Florida, you'd be sweating. There'd be lots of ticks. I don't know anybody likes ticks, especially dogs. Ask any dog if they like a tick. So if you're walking through the woods, you see something like this. That might be what you need to start a fire. The rest of it right away in that stage, that might be fat lightered. Fat lighter burns really good. We'll bring it back to the camper. Get a little machete and test it. So I parked the camper here 30 minutes ago. It was in the shade. Now it's in the sun. The good news is it's hooked to the mower. If you need heat, you can pull it to the sun. If you need coolness, you can pull it to the shade. Only works in the daytime. So we're back to the campsite. I feel like I need to get that fire going. Just a little small fire. Just to show you how good this lighter does. Right inside the window, I'll keep the matches right here. We'll grab a handful of this lighter. So I'll grab a couple pieces of this lighter. All we need is a couple small pieces. And the matches. And what I would do if I was cooking, I could lay some charcoal up here, let this fire start the charcoal. But we're not going to cook. We're just going to start a little fire. And there's wood in there from last time. So if you take a couple little pieces of this lighter, these are actually pretty big pieces. Arrange them something like that. And if you didn't have lighter, you'd just use little twigs about this size. If it's about the size of a match, it's easy to light. Get you a bunch of little pieces. Little pieces lead to bigger pieces. But we've got lighter. So here's my, I'm going to use this to light the fire. And just like that, it's burning. And you put other wood on top of that, and next thing you know, you'd have a roaring fire. What's well, scary, a lot of old houses are built with fat lighter. If that house ever catches on fire, it's going to go up fast. I mean, the wood lasts a long time, but burns really good too. So now I got you a little distance from the fire. I'm going to walk over here with the rifle. I'm going to demonstrate how bright that light is at night. So here's the compass app on my phone. We got it right now pointing north. If we look this way, that would be north. If we look at this tree, there's a little bit of moss. If we walk around it, 
that red moss on this side, that's our indicator. 